No, it went really good. It was a, uh, some exciting wrestling. Yeah. Really enjoyed the matches. Uh, it was great to be in, here in Humboldt, you know, the home of Frank Gotch. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of neat to know that uh, everything that, that, that I do came through Farmer Burns, who went into Frank Gotch, went to Henry Cole and Billy Wicks, so it was a good lineage. It's good to be here and see that. I thought it was a really good turnout, actually, you know. I mean, we're in a, we're, I mean, I didn't think there was any town smaller than my town, where I'm from, but Humboldt's a fairly small town. People are really nice, really genuine. They love the wrestling. It was a good turnout. I think this sport's going to keep growing. Uh, I think it's got, I think it's just in its infancy still. Um, it, 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 it's it's kind of like the Big Bang, you know. I think you know we we had the explosion, but now we're starting to see, you know. It actually, you think, well, the explosion a couple of years ago, and that's its pinnacle, but it's not. It's speeding up, just like our universe is, and that really really makes me happy. It really, kind of goes by uh, the the laws of physics, you know. Uh, top position is superior. Uh, the, the, the beauty of that, though, is in itself that if you're on top, that doesn't mean you're always winning. I mean, you, you might be getting baited. You might get ready to get hooked from underneath or reversed or switched. I think catch wrestling is uh, it's brutal. I always tell guys that walk in the gym, and it's no different than I always use the analogy of somebody hitting a punching bag. Anybody can punch. Anybody can go out here and beat somebody up. How much of a beating can you take? And that's catch wrestling. If you can take it and come back the next day, and the next day you'll get to where you want to be. You'll get good. But that's that's the thing about catch. It, it's it's unforgiving, especially uh, early on. You, some some very hard uh, growing pains when you're learning it. Well, I think there's three. I said you know a few years ago, and I was thinking about this, and I talked to Billy Wicks about this, and I've talked to Dick Cardinal about this. There was three. In the old days, a man's word was good. You know, but the, it, that kind of doesn't work the way it used to, the way it does now. You know, guys didn't we didn't do certifications. You didn't even talk those things. So now we're doing uh, now when we look at the uh, certifications. Uh, certification doesn't mean anything without a real stamp of approval. Wrestling is still done on the mat. That should match up. And so I look at three things. I look at who you train with. Have you wrestled? Have you coached? And what are your records? And one of those three things you have to have, I think, to be a legitimate person in catch wrestling. Other than that, you're a fan, and that's fine. Or you're great, maybe submission grabber. That's great, too. Get started in catch.